Hey, so I went to an international cat show last week, uh, and I took a bunch of video of it, and I want to share it with you. It was a lot of fun. It was kind of like what you imagine a dog show would be like, but for cats. Uh, it was really cool. I've been thinking about like how to present it in terms of like what do people want to see, and I think you just want to see the cats. No music. You get the ambience of the space and kind of what it's like. So um, I'll start playing it, and I'm going to talk a little bit, but like it's mostly just enjoy the cats. I don't have information about all the species of the cats there are, and like that really matters. It's like it, they're the cats of different memes and different cuteness, but you know, everybody's into their specific cats. So this is actually surprising to see the cats out. Um, mostly the cats are in their little cages until it's time for them to do any kind of judging or whatever. But uh, yes, yeah, so this is kind of the judging situation. So they would like pull the cats out and talk through what they were noticing about the cats. I like this one because it looks like one of my cat, my kitties. Oh yeah, I did that rare obnoxious thing where you uh, catch someone on video uh, before you talk to them. I have so many images of cats just sleeping. This lady is phenomenal. I don't know if you can really see her vest here, but it has two like gilded sequined cats on it. Anyway, she's phenomenal. Clearly taking the hobby seriously. Like, love it. Oh, I guess her info is there. I could look her up. Uh, I have not looked up her info based on this. I just know she's awesome. I don't need to Google her to confirm any more details. But you could if you wanted. This gets sad in a second just watching this cat get taken back into a cage. Oh, I guess I didn't include that footage. That face, that smushed face. So alien, it's the pug cat. Now, I didn't touch many cats, but if you're a kid, they let you touch whatever you want. That is the special joy of being a child at one of these things. As an adult, it's a little weird as an adult male to be like, hey, is it cool if I touch your cat? Like, also, those people just touched the cat basically while the owner wasn't looking. Like, Okay, this is kind of awesome and hilarious. Uh, I don't know if you need to even explain it, but the cat is eating its own badge. Freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, and there's so much cat merchandise. Just so much. I only have a second of a dog, but yeah, apparently there was a dog there. That seems so rude to bring a dog. I'm getting tired looking at the cat being tired. <laughs> it's late though. Those are pretty boss cat cards. Here's the tie cat. I'm not really sure what the uh, Game of Thrones reference is for that one. And this is shocking. 
because this is a cat like in a state of play this owner i think is probably a genius because like if you look around like we have to vote on a cat like i didn't tell you this but you have to vote on cats so like why not show me a cat that's doing something huh i feel like that would be worth some votes Oh, and then it got super crowded later, right? So you couldn't even, like, I <laughs> couldn't even get close enough to see what the cat action was. <laughs> so depressing. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is weird. Of course, um, if you're into sports, um, you'll recognize um, what they're doing. It's calling uh, the Scooper Bowl, and they are getting pieces of candy. Yeah, you can see it better here. They're scooping. Piece of candy out of a cat litter. All right, let's take a look at that. Oh my goodness. You really need to come to my house. Good job, man. That's fantastic. I sort of want one of these mouse pads. <laughs> Eight dollars seem reasonable. And this is uh, totally rad. This one was selling cat mystery novels. Yep, she's a crazy cat lady. She was there on hand to talk about her stuff. As you can tell from the lack of elaborateness. These ones are up for adoption. Uh, there's, there's a, uh, uh, some pretty, oh, people, people sorry, really love cats a lot. Like, or, cats like, I knew that, I knew that those people existed, but they're, they really like cats. They know everything about cats. Like, like, where they come from. And what do you think, Mars? What did you learn about cats today? What did you learn? <laughs> Elizabeth, what did you learn about cats? I learned um, that I have a really hard time controlling myself in a room full of cats. No. Probably more about myself than about cats. <laughs> Did you learn about a type of cat you want? Uh, I read some in fascinating information about the Thai cat because Siamese cats got so inbred that they had to bring in fresh blood from actual like Thai cats. Um, and now they're called Thai cats. Instead of Siamese cats. Instead of, well, Siamese and Thai are technically two different cats. Oh. But Siamese got too inbred. Oh. And now they're Thai cats. I, uh, I met a woman from uh, California that was here. She started in 1983 and has been coming to shows ever since. Uh, it's an expensive habit, she said. Habit hobby. Hobby. Hobby habit. But she said, what hobby isn't expensive, right? Exactly, and you know about that. Give you a high five for the litter box now, does she rock? Scooper Bowl. Scooper Bowl. Was that your idea? No. Did you come up with Scooper Bowl? No. Oh, I love it. All right, awesome. Thanks, Matt. This too. But you have that already. Oh, yeah, I got this. <laughs> Hattie, what did you learn about cats today? Do you want to be on, on Polly's vlog? Uh oh. On YouTube. Yeah. There's cats called short hairs. There is um, cats called short hairs. Cats called short hairs. Everyone, for those of you who are interested in participating in this lovely raffle that we have back here, lots of really great prizes. It's today only. So we will be doing the draw, the draw at four. If you want to buy tickets, you need to swing on that. The raffle lady is in the raffle area right cool. now. Definitely not going to be able to hear yeah, this. So this part that you're going to see next is probably the cutest thing that I saw ever happen. Uh, and, and probably the most magical thing uh, was seeing uh, two children pretending to be cats. Ellie is taking in the fresh air. She said that the air there was a little bit tough. What, was it, what did it smell like in there? Um, oh, yeah. You know, typical cat pee. I'll we'll have to take a picture of it. Like Google tell us what kind of cat it is. Um, It'll use machine yeah. learning to figure it out. I didn't smell anything. I have cats, so I'm completely, I'm com it's completely neutral smell to me. It smelled fine. It smelled like a house. Are we going to drive in separate cars? I think this is probably my most popular video because it has cats in it. Nothing to do with me talking. That's not what you guys are here for. But he made it this far. Thanks so much. Be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you'd like me to do next, or how you might what. Be sure to like, subscribe, and tell me what you like and don't like, and what I should be doing next. Um, yeah, I'm not. 
I don't know if I'll necessarily take a camera to everything. I mean, mostly I've been taking my camera phone with me. Uh, for that event, I happened to take taken like a nicer DSLR camera. I don't know if that matters to you as an audience. It doesn't matter that much to me, but it is kind of a fun way to observe things. And in particular, when you're just watching like a cat, like having a camera is a fun way to spend some time looking at the cat and appreciating the animal. I actually wish I had taken a pen and drawing pad though. I think that'd be a more fun way to look at cats. So anyway, I'm sure the, the next cat show uh, will be approaching swiftly and we'll get more of that stuff for you. But thanks so much.